In the summer of 2014, nine MSU students traveled to Salvador and Belang, Brazil as part of the Fipsy Copsy Cultural Exchange Program. First, the group spent four weeks in Salvador, living on the beach in the Baja neighborhood. There they studied Brazilian policy and culture at UFBA. They got to experience the Afro-Brazilian culture that resulted from the transatlantic slave trade in a variety of ways. They went to museums and explored Pelourinho, the historic district named after the slave whipping post located in the central plaza. They also experienced Afro-Brazilian culture by watching a capoeira performance and participating in a traditional candomblé ceremony. They also visited Bahia Street, a nonprofit whose mission was to help educate and create a safe place for underprivileged black girls in the community. They got a tour of the location and played and talked to the participating children. Lastly, in Salvador, they visited Projeto Tomar, another nonprofit who strives to conserve Brazilian marine life. The students got to interact with the sea turtles there and learn about the group's sustainable development programs in coastal fishing communities. The group then left for Belém, where they studied environmental policy and geography at UFBA. They spent their first day in the city exploring Vero Peso, and while there, they got to try the traditional food as Traditional food and local fish were also tasted when the group went to Kombu Island. There, they also got to see the mother of all trees, a large Amazonian tree in the forest, and take their first steps in the Amazon. Later, they went to the Bosque Rodriguez Alves, a preserved section of the rainforest in Belém. They saw a variety of species, including monkeys and macaws. Next, they spent a week in Braganza, a smaller town in Brazil. They learned about the environmental concerns and researching happening in the mangroves. They also got to see the beautiful, never-ending coastal beaches. Finally, they saw how local communities were producing bricks but replanting trees to maintain sustainability. The next stop was Marajo Island, the world's largest river island that was less developed and working mostly in the agricultural sector. And after that, they went back to the Belém and they hiked in the forest. One of the best parts of being in Brazil in the summer of 2014 was being there when they hosted the World Cup. It was incredible for the students to see how there was the hype of the cup and how they could feel the roar of the city every time they, they scored. The best part, though, was the friends that they made. Since it was an exchange program, they went to class with Brazilian students in both Belém and Salvador, and they got to meet the students' families and friends. And now, the Brazilian students are here for the fall semester, sharing their culture with the MSU community. Live. Learn. Latin America. For more information, visit latinamerica.isp.msu.edu edited by Jessica Lundquist.